Well, the CBSC or the Central Board of Secondary Education has now decided not to award any division, distinction or uh, any such uh, uh, sort of category wise uh, division to students in class uh, 10th and 12th. Uh, the decision was announced by CBSC examination controller uh, Sanyam Bharadwaj in an official release. The release further said that the decision to decide the best five subjects for calculating marks of the students will rest solely with the admitting college. What does it actually mean for students? Uh, joining me now on the broadcast, Professor Geeta Bhatt, an education expert and also director of non-collegiate women's education board uh, at the De Delhi University. Thanks very much, Professor Bhatt, for joining us. Uh, what does this really mean? Because, you know, essentially when it comes to board exams, divisions are not really awarded by schools across the board as far as the CBSC is concerned. What does this decision actually change and what does it mean for students? Well, uh, Vedant, you see, I think uh, the decision that has been taken by the Central Board of Secondary Education is related to that uh, the overall uh, grade of a student. Uh, in class 10th and 12th, which earlier was being given is now will not be given. And uh, I think uh, it is uh, basically uh, keeping in mind that uh, now that, you know, when national education policy 2020 is being implemented in school education as well as in higher education, uh, it w talks, uh, you know, very clearly that the, there has to be more, uh, it, it has to be learning, you know, focus should more be on learning rather than being on you know the focus of uh, education is to be more exam oriented unfortunately uh, professor but let me interrupt the you there because you see the point is that even though you're doing away with grades uh, either the overall grade or distinction the fact of the matter is that the percentages will still be awarded and admissions to universities and colleges like say the delhi university or uh, banaras in the university or other such central universities will still be through those percentages so what does so it really doesn't change anything as far as the larger objective is concerned. No, uh, without at least for the central, all the central universities and um, a large number of private and state universities have opted, you know, from last year onwards for the uh, CU set examination, which is a centrally held examination by the NTA. And this examination is for getting entrance into higher education in various central universities and uh, a large number of state universities and private universities have also opted for this. So, based on the, uh, you know, on the, uh, on the evaluation of each subject for which the student sits in that examination, a uh, merit is prepared, and based on that, the admission is given by each individual university. So, per se, this is not going to make much of a difference. Hmm. Except, for example, I would like to give you an example. For example, in Delhi University, if you want to study economics honors. You need to have mathematics as a subject. It is a mandatory in class 12, but that may not be true in other universities. So each university can itself decide that which of the subjects, you know, they can decide and also the grade that the student has got in class 12 as a, a preliminary requirement for taking admission along with the CU set examination score. So, okay. therefore, it is not going to make, uh, you know, any such impact in terms of getting admission into uh, into undergraduate courses in a large number of universities. Also, but, I think uh, Professor this Bhatt, you know, there have been many it. changes announced by the CBSC. Things. Many changes announced by the CBSE in the recent past, also many changes uh, sort of being introduced by the Delhi University as well. The la talking about the larger objective, is it a move away from meritocracy or towards meritocracy? What do you think? Well, you see, that is a tricky question. But one thing is for sure that we have been observing that, uh, you know, that uh, because that class 10th and 12th examinations are have been for a very long time, very high, they have been taken as very high stake examinations, you know, it's a kind of a it has been a do or die situation. And the students have been uh, under a lot of pressure, not only because of peer pressure, but also pressure from families. And we have seen that there, there has been a lot of mental stress that has been uh, caused because of this among the right. student community. And right. therefore, this will ease out that if these examinations be high stake and now the uh, classroom education will be more focused about actually learning rather than just keeping in mind and getting very high percentage of marks. 
Right, and of course, you know, if you look at the NEP as well, skill development is a huge focus there. But with these changes, because we're still in the thick of things, does it actually make uh, things easier for students or more complicated? That is the big question. The jury is out on that. But thanks very much, Professor Bhatt, for joining us with your perspective there.